Okay guys, thanks for watching this Diagnostic World video. Uh, this video, I just want to show you how to uh, diagnose your BMW. Um, what we have here, what we're sitting in here is a BMW 3 Series. It's a BMW uh, 318 and it's an E90 from 2006. Um, now, no matter what vehicle you're in, no matter what BMW you're in, should I say, or Mini for that matter, um, what we'll see is that it can be diagnosed by using this C110 reader and this is the probably one of the easiest way to diagnose your BMW um, what I'm gonna do here is just go through the option menu and show you the vehicles that it will cover so we've got one series there and you've got the three series and you've got five series six series seven series you got the X series like the X5s, X3s, X1s X6 as well and then on the other page the Z series, Z3, Z4 and then finally we have the minis So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in and diagnose this BMW 3 Series. Um, da -da, we're in an E90. So we're going to go in and diagnose the engine system, which on this is listed as DME, Digital Motor Electronics, as it's now known. Gives us a little bit of information before we get into it so we can read the trouble codes. And here we go, we have two trouble codes on this particular vehicle, 2A61 valve tronic adaption. Uh, we do know that this vehicle needs a new uh, VVT or um, Vanos motor, um, so that will be changed out. And then 29DD, haven't really had the chance to look into this one, but it's poor road surface detection. Um, it could it could well be something to do with the, uh, the traction system, but... Not at all sure, so I haven't looked into that one yet. But say, for example, if you did have any of these codes and you wanted to clear them from your system, or you had, say, for example, you had a code saying that you needed to change an ignition coil and you'd actually done that, what you then need to do is actually erase the trouble code. So it's telling us here that fault codes are erased. So now we're going to go back in and read trouble codes. No trouble codes, because I've cleared them from the system. If you haven't actually fixed the fault, those trouble codes will probably end up coming back. Um, depending on which vehicle you've got as well um, there are different sort of systems which you can diagnose um, and there's, you can see there's quite a few pages of um, systems to diagnose but it's a very easy tool to use and you can click the link directly below this video and it will take you to a page uh, which allows you to buy this diagnostic tool for your BMW or Mini. I would certainly recommend it. The amount of times it's uh, saved us a lot of money from uh, going and getting work done from the garage. Um, it's been an absolute lifesaver. And for the price of the tool, you really can't go wrong and you can't grumble. Um, well, you can't grumble. Anyone can grumble about paying, paying something. Uh, but there you go. That's motoring. There's no such thing as free motoring, I don't believe. Um unless you're in the motor trade. But there we go, that is the BMW and Mini C110 scan tool. And it is an ideal tool if you are looking to diagnose your BMW or Mini.